hey what's up baby girls how's everybody doing welcome back thank you so much for being here today i know i've been a little mia i was a little bit sick as i told my spanish audience yesterday i was a little bit sick i had some very bad allergies over here in my area it's been super windy so you know when that happens your allergies are through the roof literally you guys i was in bed I thought I had that ugly little bichito going on, or I don't know what you call it, so that I can't say it here on YouTube. I don't know if it's still bad to say it here on YouTube because you were not allowed to say it. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't want to say it because I don't want to get my video taken down or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, um, I thought I had it, and then um, my doctor was like, no, don't worry, you're good, you're fine. You just have some really bad allergies. You guys, I literally felt like the flu. I felt horrible. My throat was horrible. My I had like a super stuffy nose. Oh my God, it was so, so bad. But anyway, thank God I'm here. I'm doing good and no worries. Um, But yeah, so for today's video, we're going to be doing a recreation. I saw online actually i filmed this video i'm not even kidding you guys like two weeks ago and um i was not able to post it i was gonna post it last friday but um that's when i started feeling sick and then you know monday came around and i wasn't able to upload because I, it got worse so i'm so sorry you guys but here it is today i really hope you guys enjoyed it um so first things first, for tips, I'm using, I'm using what? I'm using my extra long no C-curve flat tips, which will be available on my online store pretty, pretty soon, I'm hoping. Maybe two weeks, three weeks max. I hope, you guys. Um, but yeah, those are the ones that I'm using on today's video. Uh, the brush that I'm using is the number 12 brush from my online store. And if you guys didn't know, we do have a 25% coupon right now off of everything. You don't need code. You don't need anything. It'll be discounted uh, whenever you check out. So you don't need a code or anything like that. Don't worry. Um, and yeah, everything is 25% off. I decided to do this spring sale because... We're coming um, towards the end of spring, and it's also going to be Mother's Day, and it was also Cinco de Mayo, so I was like, why not? Let's just do all in one, so I just decided to name it the spring sale, but yeah, you guys, you know, it's all in one, and um, go ahead and do your purchases, you guys. Like I said, everything is 25% off. Um, I do have new brushes. Uh, they do come crimped now, like flat. They don't come round anymore. I know you guys had been asking for that. And yeah, I'm so excited for that. I have the number 12. And now I have the number 14 for you guys. So if you guys are still, um, you know, trying to figure out if you want to jump to another, to a bigger brush. I think this is your chance right now, you guys, um, because I do have the 14 in stock. So go ahead and check that out. We also have new dappin dishes. The crystal dappin dishes are so cute. And they're not little, you guys. They're actually super big. And I, I uh, obviously, I have to try one out for you guys. So I went ahead and kept one for my own, for myself. And I was trying in like the monomer and stuff and it's literally so deep. It's big. Like I really, really love it, you guys. You you might want to check that out too. Um, and then the acrylic that I'm using here is the green from my spring collection or my yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think that's what I named it, right? <laughs> I don't remember, you guys, but it's from my Pastel Spring slash whatever collection, you guys. Um, I know I'm all over the place. I feel a little bit better today, so just bear with me. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the green that I'm using on today's video. Now, for the nude, I think I'm using First Nude, I believe, from Not Polish. And you can always use my coupon code. It's just Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y, if you guys want to do a purchase with uh, Not Polish because their products are just bomb.com, you guys. 
and i am i am also using their monomer and i am also using their crystal clear acrylic which i'm going to be using to cap and i'm also using their neutralizer so that the monomer smell reduces because honestly it does help a lot you guys like out of a hundred percent you will probably smell about 60 percent so that's a lot you guys that's a lot it does reduce the smell so if you are sensitive to monomer smell this will help you out a lot so again the link will be in my description box below along with the coupon code and yeah right here all i'm doing is applying a glitter from my online store as well i think it was fireflies for my last year's summer collection and i thought it looked so cute so pretty and like i said if i haven't said this this is a recreation i found online you will see the picture here as my thumbnail and also to give this person credit because he works beautiful but uh yeah you guys that's the glitter i'm using and i do think it's available right now on my online store as well um there's a lot of things well not a lot of things that are new but there are certain things that are new and that i brought back as well um but yeah you guys like i said that's the nude that i'm gonna be using i think it's called first nude from not polish i think that's what it's called yeah it is you guys i'm sure that's what it is um but yeah you guys um that's what i'm gonna be doing here on this on this um particular design it's a very very easy to do i was when i was seeing it i was like oh wow like what but then when I started doing it, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, it's super easy. You just do the green, then you just do the glitter, then you just do the ombre. You know, it's just super easy, you guys. And you don't have to have the exact same products as the original uh, creator had. Because honestly, like 90% of the time, everybody who recreates designs do not have the same products, you guys. Like, honestly, you can work with whatever you have at home. And I'm sure it's going to work out perfect. So yeah, for my ombre, as you guys can see here, I start off with my first bead and place it right there where the green ended, where the first color ends. That's exactly where I um, add my first bead. I try to blend it down, not all the way, you guys, but like kind of like half of the nail or maybe like three fourths of the nail. Um, and then I place my second bead right on top of that one. And then my third bead would be my cuticle bead. And I really have to watch out for that. And I don't want to touch none of that skin. Because that will just create lifting.
Okay, baby girls. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of how I cap. A little bit more in depth I would say <laughs> so I pick up my first bead and just kind of place it right there in the center wherever the ombre meets you know what I mean so now I start to blend it down and then a little bit upwards you know just so that that bead is even all throughout that nail and um, whenever I, I work with glitter I like to kind of like how can I say this Kind of like humidify the area where that glitter is first. Just so that there's no air bubbles. I hope that makes sense. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of like my powder to ratio. What I kind of do so that I could get like not the perfect bead. But you know a somewhat perfect bead. <laughs> and um, but before that uh, you know just make sure that your acrylic it's laid. And your acrylic is all throughout that nail. It's just spread it all throughout that nail. And there's no lumps and bumps. I like to watch my sidewalls. I like to always watch my sidewalls. That really helps me not file so much. So I place my first bead. I kind of bring it down towards the tip. Like I said, a little bit towards the cuticle area not a whole lot because we kind of already built that and then I watch my sidewalls just cleaning my sidewalls so here I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do I just want you to kind of see look I kind of dip and then I wipe one side only and with the side that I did not wipe I go ahead and do like a motion inside my acrylic where I do one two three hold and you hold for about one or two seconds, you guys. It's not even that long. Then I just bring it out of the acrylic and boom, there's your bead. So it's just kind of practice, I would say. Um, it got, it, Literally, you guys, it kind of took me a while to kind of get the hang of like the beads and the ratios and all that shebang. It really took me a while to get the hang of that. So here, really quick, I'm just going to show you again what I do. And you guys can see, like, I just kind of just press it in there. And I kind of do that motion where I do, like, one, two, three. Like, a tapping motion. Like, one, two, three. And then on the third tap, I kind of hold it in place for, like I said, maybe two to three seconds, you guys. It's not even a lot. So... You know, I just go ahead and place it on my tip or on my nail. Start to brush it down towards the tip of the nail. And um, watching my sidewalls. Every single uh, bead that I do, I watch my sidewalls, you guys. I always, always, always watch my sidewalls. I always go ahead and clean them. And like I said before, and I, I will say it over and over and over again. This always helps me reduce my filing time. I think your application has a lot to do with how long it takes you to file. You know, if your application is smooth, your application went just right, and you're doing the correct steps to your application, your acryl acrylic application, I'm sure your filing time will be cut in half. Honestly, you guys, I noticed that whenever I started focusing more on my acrylic application, before I didn't care, before I always had that mindset where the file will fix it. The filing process will fix it. It doesn't matter. No, you guys, like, no, it has a lot to do. So here I want you guys to see a little bit of what the application looks like. And yeah, so Melody Susie sent me this beautiful pink drill and this is what the little box looks like. I was super excited to receive it because it was pink and I really loved it. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you, Melody Susie. They're always reaching out to me and sending me out their, you know, their newest drills or just everything that they sent me is so bomb. So opening up the box... Of course, you're going to be receiving your little pamphlet here, which is going to explain to you everything about the drill. If you're new to this, if you're new to the nail world, or if you're just literally brand new to just a nail drill, I think this is very important for you to have and read. And then, of course, you get your sanding bands. I think they're coarse, you guys, if I'm not mistaken. They're not, 
These, please do not use them on your natural nails, the sanding bands. But these cuticle, the cuticle bits, you can use them on your natural nail. They're specifically for that. So it also comes with its little stand for your little hand piece. And of course, you got to have your charger. And um, so here it's the actual drill. Like I said, it's pink and it doesn't have the little screen where it, where it tells you you know the rpms it doesn't tell you you know the battery life or anything like that but honestly i really liked it because it's pink <laughs> so um yeah you know you just have your little functions here you have your power your little outputs your on and off button your reverse and your forward setting and that's pretty much what you have here and then right here on the side and that's where you place this little thing so that if you want to place your handpiece there you may you can also put it like on your belt if you're working or you're on your jeans or something um yeah that's that's pretty much what it is <laughs> and then of course you have your handpiece so the handpiece is white and pink which honestly personally i loved i think it was a really nice combination of colors and um and it actually felt kind of heavy you guys i thought like the little handpiece was a little gordita was a little fat so um this part well all of it mostly is kind of like rubber so it won't slip that easily off your hand so i'm gonna connect everything here and then i'm gonna turn it on just so that you guys can see and hear what it sounds like because it was pretty loud so let me tell you Okay, so this is the highest. Let me see. This is the highest. This is the highest, and it does not vibrate. You don't feel a thing. Like, you can hardly feel something. It doesn't vibrate, okay? So once you bring down the speed, it is, it is a little more louder than my bell drill, my Kira Sky drill. And my other Melody Susie drill, the black one that I usually use. Right now it's not charged. But um, yeah, it's louder than that one. I just want you to guys to hear it. Okay. When I turn it on. And this is at 35 RPMs. This is 35. Now let me turn this one on. They're both on, you guys. This one's super loud. I mean, it's not super, super, super loud. But honestly, it is louder than my bell drill. Let me just turn it off. I am sure it should be around 30 to 35 RPMs, you guys. But yeah, another thing I wanted to mention is that this is rubber. So it's very secure in your hand and it won't be slipping. As to these, these don't have any rubber on them. They don't slip. I'm not going to say they slip. Um, but um, the pen is a lot more thinner than these. As you guys can see. Um, and they're pretty much like the same size. But um, let's see. Let's let's try. Let's give it a go, you guys. So now I'm going to be taking my hand file. This is a 100-100 grill nail. What? 100-100 grit nail file from Tammy Taylor. It's the peel and stick file. And these are so much easier, you guys. You don't have to toss them away. You just have to like peel them off and glue the new one in it's so much easier honestly so i prefer these and also the grid is like awesome so i highly recommend them i've heard that the 8080 grid files are super good for shaping as well 
I might try and buy those to see which ones I prefer. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys use the 8080 to shape. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you like them better than the 100 100. Let me know down below. So yeah, chicas, um, I like to do this first. This is like the first step I ever, the first step I ever take to shape. Uh, I just like to remove any acrylic stuck underneath the nail. And then now I'm gonna be taking my electric drill, the one from Melody Susie, and I'm gonna be turning it on. I'm also gonna be putting it on the forward setting since I am working with my right hand. And I'm also going to be working with my 5-in-1 Pana drill bit, okay? This is a medium grit. I know it has the green, but I just put it on there because I don't know where I left the other one. Uh, but yeah, this is a medium grit. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to be taking it, you know, at about, I think, because it doesn't even have a screen for me to look at to see how much RPMs I'm working with. But I'm guessing I'm working at about 15 to 20 RPMs, maybe. <laughs> so I'm kind of taking a guess there. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and start from the cuticle area. And I'm going to be sealing all those cuticles because you don't want any lifting. And I'm also going to be taking, on, taking it on my sidewalls just to further shape and further make them extra crispy and straight and all that. And then, of course, you want your surface to be super, super smooth with no lumps and bumps. So I'm making sure to file that area as well. And this is why it's very important for you guys to cap your designs. Because in this case, we did have a glitter. We also had an ombre. And right now that we're filing, if I didn't cap, everything would have been gone by now, you guys. All that hard work you had just done would have been gone. So please make sure you cap. Even if it's just um, nude and you want to go over it with a super thin coat of uh, crystal clear acrylic, that's perfect. But just go ahead and cap, you guys, especially these type of designs. Now I'm going to be taking a 150-150 nail grit file. These I get them from Nail Supply Glamour. And I like these to further shape the nail. Sometimes underneath the nail, it kind of looks like, I, I, I hope you guys can see it there. But sometimes there's like little ridges uh, from either your previous hand file or the nail drill. And this one... I love this one so that it's nice and crisp underneath. You know what I mean? I don't only focus at the surface of the nail and the sidewalls. I also focus underneath the nail so that everything looks nice and straight. You know what I mean? So this uh, file also helps me further buff the nail because it just leaves a very, very super clean surface. But um, of course, you always have to buff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buff everything. This is not a buffer, you guys, okay? I want to repeat myself because it is not a buffer. But it just helps me remove any harsh lines, you know what I mean? So here I'm going to be trying that famous TikTok trend going on. And I'm going to be applying a thin coat of, or just a little drop of cuticle oil all over my nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff now with your buffer. And I love this technique, you guys. Honestly, whoever came up with this is a genius because after you see how they come out, literally they are scratch free. That you do not see any scratches whatsoever. There's nothing on the nails and they're super smooth, like velvety smooth. It is so weird what the cuticle the cuticle oil does to your to your nails, to the acrylic. Uh, I don't know, you guys. It's just super super genius honestly i love this trend so if you guys haven't tried it go ahead and try it anyway you guys going back to the nail drill from melody Susie, everything will be in the description box below including their link and also my coupon code in case you guys are interested in buying it i highly recommend it honestly for beginners uh so yes you guys everything will be in the description box below and thank you so much melody susie for sending me uh this beautiful drill i honestly loved it so much
So you guys saw how the nails came out, like literally scratch free. Now I'm going to be taking my matte top coat and these top coats are available on my online store as well. And don't forget, we do have a 25% off discount on everything right now on my store, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and be making all my nails some mattes because that's what the original design was. So I'm going to be matting them out and I'm going to be applying a super thin coat on throughout all of the nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them underneath the lamp and curing them for about 60 seconds. Okay, baby girls, so now after they're out of the lamp, we're going to be using these two. I don't know if I showed them to you. I think I did, but we're going to be using those two gels. Um, I kind of mixed them to get this perfect shade that the original design had. So um, I'm going to be making these little swirly lines here and there. It's going to have them on all of the nails. We're going to be doing first the green. Then we're going to sprinkle it with some sugar effect. And then we're going to be doing the whites and sprinkling it again with some sugar effect or some glitter to make that sugar effect. So I'm going to be doing first, I'm going to be doing the little swirly in green. I am not going to cure, okay? Please do not cure. This is uh, what the sugar effect is, okay? So do not cure yet. Make sure you do your design first. Add your glitter and then you go ahead and cure it and that's just going to secure your glitter in place. It's not going to budge. It's not going to move. So like I said, I'm going to be doing the green first, sprinkling it with sugar, curing it, come back, do the white, sprinkle it with sugar, cure it, and then we're done. Okay, baby girls, so now it's time for a little bit of nail art or for a little bit of charms and a little bit of rhinestones. So I'm going to be taking these little white flowers, which are super trendy, not trendy right now. And these are available on my online store. Oh my God, I do have them available. It comes in white. Um, it comes in a pack of like little six. It's, it's a little box with six little um little tiny boxes in there <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but um yeah it comes with six different colors it's a red a dark pink a dark purple uh kind of like a dark teal and like a neon yellow and white i believe so yeah uh, i do have them available on my online store in case you guys want to get your hands on that and um, yeah, the link will be in the description box below, but I'm going to be adhering some of these white ones and then I'm also going to be adding some tiny little crystals here just so that it pops. 
or I don't know that's just how the original picture had it so like I said this is a recreation so I want to uh, make it uh, look as close as possible so that's what I'm going to be trying to do here <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm going to be doing this to all of the nails and I'll be right back So since the nails were already top coated and everything, all I went ahead and did after finishing all those little uh, little flowers and all those little crystals we adhered, I went ahead and added a little bit of cuticle oil. And new cuticle oil is about to come on my online store, you guys, so be prepared for that. Uh, and this is about it, you guys. This is the end result. Tell me how I did. Tell me if it kind of looks like the original picture. Um, thank you so much for being here. I will see you on the next one. Uh, stay safe, God bless, and bye-bye.